Hey guys, we're live. We had to switch off our Wi-Fi, so we're running on our cell phone internet, so hopefully it's good. Let me move the camera down just okay. a titch. We couldn't, we couldn't get our Wi-Fi to go. I think we have too many kids streaming, which is crazy since we have like Omega fast internet. It's alright, it happens. If we didn't have technical difficulties on these live videos... It wouldn't it, be Saturday night. Yeah, it wouldn't be a live video from us. Hope you don't mind, I am uh, in my, oops, what the heck I thought I, oh, sorry. I have Do Not Disturb, I forgot the volume. I'm in my sweatshirt because I'm tired. <laughs> I went shopping all day and I sent Zeb to do the thrifting. You know, <laughs> you, we get messages all the time, oh, you guys have the best stuff at your, uh, at your thrift stores and you always find the best things. Today was a struggle. I went later in the afternoon. We'd been busy all week and sick and hadn't gotten time to go. Jamie was gone all day. Oh, I did a little picking. I, I, I have some things here I picked earlier in the week, so I'll show you those. Those ones are good. Zep brought some interesting <laughs> things that we haven't picked before, but he can tell you about them. Plus, we're going to show you a little bit of what we picked, and then we're going to talk about a Black Friday sale we have coming up a new product line that we just added to the website and we're going to be making a craft which probably you need to get this started first because oh, we've yeah. got to get it setting up so let's flip that camera over so i don't know if you guys follow iron orchid <clears throat> design we're going to get to the thrift haul in a minute but first we got to get this started because i told you guys we would be doing an ornament in real time all right we'll do this first and then we'll get to showing all the thrift store things why i got them and what i plan on doing with them Am I barefoot or socks? I'm barefoot, but I'm in my yeah, pajama pants, see? <laughs> okay, so real time, I've got the... Oh, I was gonna tell them real quick. All right. So this is a recreation of a project that Iron Orchid Design did on a video, and I posted on Instagram and Facebook and in YouTube communities that we would do it live. And we're using, you can tell them what we're using now that I've prefaced this. <laughs> so this is amazing casting resin. If you want to know where to get this, you can find it on our website at jamierayvintage.com. Um, so it, when you open it up, you're going to find side A and side B. I think I said that right. Nope, side A <laughs> and side B. Either way, you want to use equal parts of each. So what I'm going to be doing is I've got this mold and I'm going to fill this side up first let it cure, then I'm going to fill this side up because they're designed to flip over onto each other and we're going to put a little string in between so that you can hang it on a tree as like an ornament. Yeah, it's mirror image so that's why it works so well. And if you guys haven't already followed Iron Orchid Design on YouTube, you absolutely should. We sell their entire line of products so it just gives you an extra outlet to learn how to use things that you can already get at jamierayvintage.com. And they're just really funny. We love the sisters, Josie and Sally. Zeb and I actually have a Facebook messenger chat with both of them and we are constantly like bouncing ideas off of each other, sharing jokes, making, making jokes. <laughs> and it's just a lot of fun. So we wanna make sure you guys are following them because we actually are gonna be doing a collaboration with them pretty soon. We're working out the details on that, so that'll be fun. Everybody's just saying hello. Christine says she loves the BC. I'm guessing she means the Buffalo check, which is my pants. I love all things Buffalo check. Also the Buffalo check stencil. <laughs> We've been using that a lot lately. Um, let's see, hi from Tasmania. That's a long ways away. Sherry asked, um, she needs to buy glaze from us and she couldn't find it anywhere. So we don't, we have antiquing glaze by Fairy Chalk Mother. And then you can also use dark and decrepit from DIY Paint, both will work as a glaze. So um, if you can't find them, you can PM me on Facebook, or if Caitlin's on here, she might could drop you a link to the antiquing glaze or the dark and decrepit. I'm All not right, sure I need to talk to him about this for a second. Okay, you've been, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you've been going a mile a minute. <laughs> Done. All right, so I've got equal parts. I use 10 millimeters of side A, 10 millimeters side B. I'm stirring it together, it's gonna go cloudy on you, and then when it comes back clear, that's when you know you have it stirred up enough. So I'm just gonna stir it until it gets to that point. Usually takes about 30 seconds of stirring. I've just got a scrap stick here, a, I don't know, one of those, a popsicle stick, that's the word I'm looking for, would work. The kit comes with popsicle sticks, but mine are all used up and gone, so I, I'm using this. It's really important to be exact when you're doing this. 
because it's a chemical reaction. Also, I wouldn't do it around children. Be careful not to get it on your hands if at all possible because you are doing you're making resin you're making plastic so. if i'm going to do more than one or two pours i usually get my rubber gloves out yeah and you want to pour if anything you want to pour just a little under if you go over then you have to trim it and that's not a big deal but so on this mold the 10 millimeters to each can, side can they see that the it's completely millimeters. clear right now <laughs> that's not right <laughs> milliliters if I've been saying millimeters, sorry. But anyway, 20 milliliters <laughs> is the right amount for this pour on this particular um, mold. So just if you're using it in the future. On each side, you do 20 milliliters. No, so 10 each, 10 20 each. together. Yeah, but you don't want to mix up all the resin for both sides because we're going to pour one side. We're going to let it mostly dry. Then we're going to put this on it and smoosh it in there and then when we peel it out then we'll flop the other side on it all right so, all right, so we're going to leave that alone so stay tuned if you want to see how that ends up and we're going to come back over here to our thrift haul and you probably noticed these do you want to talk about these first yes i do want to talk about these but zeb i feel excited. like i'm a long ways away zeb has been working on this for a while not necessarily the, the design but learning how to use his new software and his brand new kind of CNC. expensive CNC machine that we've had for like a month. And he <laughs> finally created these. All right, so these will be available, I don't know, maybe later tonight, who knows? No, these are for Black Friday, Zeb. Oh, these are for these Black are Friday. These are not gonna be available. Whew. These are gonna be available from Black Friday to Cyber Monday, and they are a special deal. The set will be $30 for the set. And, and come shipping, unfinished. And shipping is $13.95. So we will be doing a video on how to finish the corbels here between now and Black Friday. That way, if you buy an unfinished set on Black Friday, you'll know. We also have more Black Friday deals that will unroll here pretty soon so that way you know what to expect. But these are the first ones. So these are fun though, because this is We've been working a long time to get something that we could mass produce, but we wanted to keep it in house. And, you know, I like stuff that's handmade. This is designed custom <laughs> by me. So uh, it, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. We'll have a bunch of fun designs coming out as I get better with the software and stuff. So, and hold on, Zeb's still pretty sick, guys. So if he <laughs> jumbles his words, just you're, you're like sweaty. Sorry. Sorry. I'm probably breaking a fever. <laughs> <laughs> so cut him some grace tonight if he fumbles over his words because he's he's not feeling 100%, but he was super excited to show you guys these. And he has a special Christmas project he's working on for me that we'll probably have by next Saturday or maybe even by Wednesday. Oh, time. Wednesday. <laughs> so we'll see how things go. So let's get on with the haul here. It was Slim Pickens. I found these on two separate sides of the store, but I'm pretty sure they're friends. They were $2 for this one, and this one was also $2. And I just thought that they were fun. They hold those long, what are, what are those candles called? The long tall ones? Tapers. The long taper candles. And we'll probably paint these up white and sell them or i don't know maybe apothecary you never know maybe like 10 bucks a piece for yeah those. or the set for 1995. Ooh, 1995. is this set. metal on the top yeah oh, it's got like a cool. brass top on it that's what actually drew so me if to we them. can take that off and paint these and then leave these metal that might be cool yeah so They're kind of primitive i like them good job what else did you buy? so it's christmas time and i walked by this little horse a couple of times it was in like those small little wood section where they've got a bunch of little like handmade signs and things and i'm like you know what maybe paint that thing up white who doesn't like like a vintage style rocking horse for their old vintage doll well and we had a rocking horse and it sold so this would be good to replace that i actually enjoy painting these pink too oh, because yeah. sometimes for nurseries pink baby blue because you can make them look really cutesy and then people will buy them for their nurseries as decor so that's always a good idea when you find these. And this size is probably gonna sell for like $12.95 and it was $1.50, so it's a pretty good markup. Yep. And solid wood. So but it's just something fun to have in the store. You know, sometimes you get kids running around and 
And they come and they, they grab oh, stuff. Oh, we can and... make it into a unicorn. Oh. That would be fun. Good idea. Maybe yes. take some clay and make like, and then Whose idea was flowers. that? Um, Katie Scott. Good job, Katie. Surprise, surprise, it's Katie Scott, our Canadian friend. So this was $3. Just a fun candlestick. It's about eight inches tall, but it's got a ton of detail on it. I think yeah, painted white for, and wet distressed, it'll look oh, really, really yeah. good. Perfect for wet distressing. That's what I was just going to say. So this is a tiny, tiny little basket. Show them this. It says grapes. But it's been stamped or maybe it was already like that and cut down. I don't know. But it, uh, it it's made to look like an old... Uh, fruit crate or something. Uh, we love any kind of like primitive basket type. Now the next thing, oh, you're gonna show them that, okay. I'm gonna show them this. So anytime I can get something ceramic that's small like this, I'll probably take this little straw off. Oh, that, there it comes off right now. It was $1.50, but all those little Ikea plants, wait for it. Well, and if Ikea gets those uh, Christmas trees back in or oh, yeah. whatever that would fit in there pretty well. I'm gonna have to show them a Christmas tree Bam. now. Bam. Wait, but no, we I'm probably go. not leave it red. We paint them white. Yeah. This was how much? A dollar fifty. Yeah, it was a dollar fifty. And it'll probably with a the plants are like four ninety nine, so it'd probably be somewhere around sixteen ninety five with a plant on it. That's too small. So it's a little big for this, but you could raise that up, put something on the top there. Yeah. That would work. Yeah. So these are always fun, and people love greenery. I I put lots and lots of greenery in my booth because it gives it a nice natural element and it kind of an organic look, and it gives a break from the white. I like to incorporate whites, natural woods, and greens in all my design. So this was a dollar seventy five cents. It's like a bag of olives. I'm thinking it would look They're good. They're talking about like what's on behind us, like the food on our counter. Oh, the fruit? <laughs> well, we'll give you a full tour of the snacks I keep on my counter when we're all done. I promise. <laughs> Nobody goes hungry in my house. I have two refrigerators, one giant freezer, two pantries, and a cold storage room. <laughs> yeah. And flats of food behind the sectional in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> we keep, we keep, we're well stocked on food. So these are olives, 75 I cents. I, I don't know what you're going to do with those. <laughs> I'm going to use them, you know, when I raise up that pine tree, I'm going to put them all on there. They look like acorns a little you bit. You could paint them red and put them on a wreath like berries. Oh. You could paint these little things, like you know, hold them and paint them, or you got to toothpick them and some foam so they don't blow everywhere. You just drop them in a bowl of paint and roll them around and then dump them back out. They're actually not bad. Let me take them out. They're, they're not bad the color that they are because they're like green. Yeah, they're so kind of Christmassy, and that's Christmas why I was drawn to them. Because they were, they're Christmassy olives. Here, <laughs> Children. They're good fake olives. He bought a bag of fake. I send him to the thrift store by himself and he comes home with a bag of fake olives. But it's not the only fake edible. This is how slim the pickings were today. Don't go thrifting on Saturday afternoon. Are you sure I couldn't have found anything? Uh, man, there was a couple things that I wanted to buy, but they were way overpriced for what we usually spend on them. Rule number one for thrifting. It doesn't matter how cool it is. If it's priced too high, don't buy it because you'll never make money on it. And then you'll just be irritated. It's happened. I know. <laughs> All right. So we got lemons last week. And I'm like, you know, we could probably paint these up white or red or green and make them all Christmassy. So one bag of fruit, $4.00. I actually think four dollars is kind of a lot, but this is like well-made fruit. Yeah. It's not like cheap fruit. It's like solid, sturdy fruit. I said maybe we'll paint them and glitter them and make oh. them into ornaments. So don't be surprised if when we unveil our Christmas tree, there's glittered ornament fruit. So this is a separate bag. It was five dollars. So I spent nine dollars on fake fruit at the thrift store today. The whole thing was only twenty-one. <laughs> That's a good. So this was a dollar, just a little wooden tray, bamboo. We like to paint these up, stamp them on the inside. It would inside. be cute with a mini wreath. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. that would be so cute. Like a wreath in there Yeah, because like you that. can buy those little mini grapevine wreaths mm -hmm. at the Hobby Lobby. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, Comment showed... if you think this needs a mini wreath. I think it does. Oh, it's pretty white. You think it's still wet? It's fine. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's fine. We'll just connect it on that Oh, we'll connect it on that yeah. side. Okay, because that's not how But I it's time it. to pour. We're, we'll show you the shutters in just a second. Wait, well, I mean, you can see the shutters, but we'll, you don't know how much we paid for them. I got a really good deal, and somebody said, what do you do with the shutters? We will show you what we did with our shutters 
right up there. If you've watched our videos, then you probably already know. They're hard to find. The lady, when I messaged her about the shutters, said that she had, he's just gonna pop that out. It's actually really satisfying to pop that out. She said like 40 people have messaged her, but nobody okay. had made a commitment. That one's still not quite dry, so let's show them the shutters. Okay, we're going back to the shutters. We checked on this. It's warm and All right. not quite dry. Tell them about the shutters and then I'll pan up right. so they can see. So these shutters, I saw them on Facebook Marketplace. They said $10 for all of them. There are 11 shutters here, and I would pay probably upwards of at least $4 per shutter if I were to buy them individually. In fact, I believe that's what I paid for my shutters up there, and even that's an amazing deal. But 11 shutters for $10. The lady was like, 40 people have messaged me, nobody's made a commitment, and I said, do you take Venmo? Because I will pay you right now. Luckily, I was supposed to be going to Walmart, so I just made a little detour and just went straight there and got them because this was an amazing deal. All right, so let, this is what you do with shutters. Wait for it. Ta-da! So I like to take antique windows and put shutters next to it and create like a little window vignette. Normally we either stain them or spray paint them dark and then we do like a chippy milk paint on them and then they look like old chippy shutters. And people love that. The other thing that's cool to do is to take a shutter and you can paint it for the holidays then take a ribbon and hang the ribbon down and put a wreath on it. And then people will just hang it up like on a gallery wall or up on a mantle, one on each side. So shutters are always, if you can get these inexpensive, they're definitely something, something to thrift. And pretty much these are smaller than the ones that I have up there, but these are actually, I feel like a more manageable size. Most people can fit this in their decor. The other ones are oversized and I would still buy them, but not everybody can fit them in. So Zeb's going to be pouring again. Is that what you're doing? In just a second. And stay I'm just tuned it because ready. look, we have so much new stuff tonight. See what's in here? Essential stencils. I haven't even looked at them yet. They just sent me my they new came in the mail. My new stencil pack. And I'll tell you something real quick. Essential stencils, we do not sell on our website. But if you go to Essential <laughs> Essentialstencil.com and use the code Jamie Ray Vintage, you can save 10%. And then we get a little kickback for promoting them and showing you how to use them, which we thank you for. So make sure you use that code Jamie Ray Vintage when you buy your essential stencils. And when this video is no longer live, we'll drop the link in the code below. All right, it's ready enough. It's ready enough. It's it's gone white. It's still a little soft. And that's okay. You can pull them out when they're soft, as long as they're soft. So the cool thing, if you pull them out when they're at this stage, I could take this. You know what else you could do? Debbie Beard was super excited about this. Let me show you. Here, hand that to Come me. On. Oh, it's too bright. Put there it on we go. Because they're really pliable when they're warm. But we got to hurry because we got to get it I back know. flat. <laughs> you could make a cuff and drill holes. Make a cuff, let it set up like this, then drill holes and make a cuff bracelet. Wouldn't that be cute? All right, now we got to lay it flat. So we're yep. going to lay that flat. I'm going to poke the camera down. Actually, I don't know how to do that. I'm I'll gonna, do it. Every time I do it, you yell at me. I never yell at you. Well, not in public. <laughs> All right, now it's flat. He's going to mix up that other side. Okay, so that's going to be pliable for a little bit. So I've already got my, my 10 milliliters. Hey, Renee says she thinks that I was hitting the NyQuil too. I have not had any. I'm not sick. I just spent uh, from 9.30 to 6.30 shopping with my girlfriends today. So I'm just a little shopping tired. That's 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. I went to breakfast and we were gonna go to a movie and we said, let's go shopping. And then we went shopping and then we shopped some more and then a little more. Mama's tired. I did some Christmas shopping, so that's good. I can check it off my list. All right, just stirring this up again. Gonna let it go milky, then it'll go kind of clear again so that you can see. And once you don't have any more of those little uh, strands of milkiness in there, you're ready to pour. So I did this side. Oh, let me show you. Oh, Renee says left poor Zeb home. Poor Zeb wanted to be left alone. <laughs> um, and somebody asked a question if they'll always be white. The resin's always white, but you can paint them any color you want. You and can they, also dye the resin. You can also dye the resin. I don't know how you do that, but you can paint them any color you want and well there's no prep so you just paint directly over the top of the resin and it sticks all right so this was the first side it's important that you do the opposite side for your second one if you're going to be doing what we're about to do with these here well i have to say hi real quick 
Okay. Dana's grandkids stayed up late to watch us. Hi, Briley and Harper. Now I said hi. Now you can go to bed and be good for your grandma. Sorry, trying to adjust oh, the camera. Oh, Sally's cute. She says she likes the way our upper cabinets are decorated. They're not really decorated so much as when I buy stuff, I just put it up there and hope that it looks balanced. <laughs> if I don't know where to put it, I just put it on top of my cabinets. All right, Jamie, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna kind of babysit this resin because before it starts turning all the way white, you wanna lay. <gasps> Sarah, I did the LL doll event at Target too. <laughs> did you get the free stuff from the scavenger hunt? Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sarah said she went there. We got there late and we didn't get the free LOL doll, but we got all the accoutrements and they gave us lots of extras because they were ready to go. They're like, take all you want. So I got chapsticks and all kinds of stuff free. Ah, so, nice. And I got the new LOL pet. It's going to be so fun. All right. Sorry. Okay. I like Christmas now, shopping. Now that we're done with the LOL madness. Um, so you just take your string. I'm going to watch this and kind of wait for it to turn. It's gonna take a couple minutes, so Jamie's probably gonna show you some stencils while we wait for that, but I don't wanna be over there talking. You always and poke me in the nose. I've never poked you in the nose. Have I ever hit you? Okay, no. all right. And then I'll just lay this down in there. And then once that's done, while it's still curing, I'll set this other one on the top and it'll- Sandwich. Done. All right, so let's talk stencils. You, okay, comment if you'd like to see the stencils. Maybe you don't want to. This box is heavy. I thought that I was just going to get the little stencils, but there's a lot of stencils in here. So these are, if you're just tuning in, these are essential stencils. You buy them at essentialstencil.com. You use the code Jamie Ray Vintage and you save 10%. So here's the first one. Now these are, let's see, it comes with a set of three. And yeah, that one is close. Let It Snow, Baby It's Cold Outside. If you show them the sticker, there's one more. Yep. on the sticker. I, I didn't see what that third one was. And these are great for a sign size, si can't even talk, sign size. Can you guys see kind of the ones that are on there? I know they're going to be backwards. I know, sorry the, guys. The but wording you know, is inverted. One of the things that I love about these two is like all these little snowflakes and things, you can use just that part of the stencil. So these are really cool. First one, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, Hold on, <gasps> you guys, they sent me an extra set. But so, that means okay, that means giveaway time. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I forgot they always do that. So I'll count how many they are, and then if you comment on this video, we will ship them anywhere in the world to you. Okay. So, hold on. <clears throat> hold on. You gotta wait because I got oh. I gotta time this right. Okay. You can comment, see how it's and you'll be entered to win some and share the video. You'll All have right. to redo that. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay this in. You can see how it's kind of starting to turn white on me. And I'm gonna kind of line them up over the wings and use that as my my point of reference. Yeah, don't touch the resin. And you kind of mush it together and it goes just, around the edge a little bit, just very softly. Just real light. Make sure the contact is really good around all the edges. That's one of the things Josie mentioned when she did it. We actually, somebody, I can't remember who it was, when we were in IOD training actually came up with this thought and we tried it out live in IOD training when we were in California and it turned out amazing. They used a cotton cord on their video, but I like the natural because it's a good contrast to the thing. Let's get too excited. If you comment below, you are entered to win a set of these stencils. I don't know how many we're gonna give away until I open them all out of the box. And then next week we will announce the winner. We also need you to share this video and give us a thumbs up to enter. So that's the first set we're gonna give away. Next one, this is one of the really long porch signs that says believe. I'll, sh I'll hold it up for them. Let's see, do we have, oh, and we have another one of those. So that's set number two that we're gonna give away is a believe. All right. And when you've shared, comment that you've shared the video so we know. All right, this is another porch sign that says Merry Christmas. So these are the tall, like five foot signs you put on your porch. Let's see, do we have another one of those? Yep. So that's set number three we're gonna give away. Oh, the Merry is small and then the Christmas is vertical. Yeah. All right, let's see. This was not even, this was not Christmas, but it says Home Sweet Home and they sent us two. And the cutest thing, it has paw prints. Zeb, can you show them the paw prints? Mm hmm So. Cute. I know all of you guys got your furry children. 
Well, and that's just a single stencil, so you could use that on a lot of stuff. Oh, I, they have five inch letters. That's the whole alphabet. The whole alphabet. So here's another set, one for us and one for our YouTube friends. All right. Here are the designs for, um, these are the little five by five signs that we do. And then we also like to do these on cutting boards. Zeb will show you up close. We have Oh Holy Night. We have the manger and oh come let us adore him so, we so have when are we going to announce the winners next week? next saturday we'll announce the winners we want to do it fairly quickly because we want them to be able to use their stencils Ooh, this is cute zeb okay so this one is hot more like winter it's hot cocoa gingerbread bakery and candy canes so that will show you another five by five. Ooh, and this one is a six pack so this six pack is another, oh, these are six by six stencils, sorry. The six pack has, is everyone showing this one, has a Merry Christmas, okay. Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, December 25th, a reindeer, Joy with a Wreath, and a snowflake. So let's see how many, how many people are getting stencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stencils we will be mailing out. And as long as it's legal to ship to you in your country, we will ship these worldwide. So comment, share, yeah. thumbs up. That's I love entered. stencil giveaways because they're easy to ship and we can send them outside the U.S. because we have so many friends all over. So that's really exciting, which this probably means that in the next week we're going to be doing um, sign a palooza. Yes. And just in time for my girlfriends to come over on Monday for craft night. I know you're so excited for craft night. Yes, because that means I get to cut out lots of things. <laughs> we already have three crafts, so let's add a few more to that. Okay, um, what were we going to do next? Oh, we got to talk about something else. We have so much new stuff. It's all coming. Okay. We, we were Well, we've been kind of prepping for a lot of things so that we can have them available, A, for the holidays, and B, we don't know what we want to put on sale for Black Friday, so we're kind of just seeing what people like. Yeah. Okay, so these are candles. They're a soy-based um, candle, and they are made by Molly and Clay. If you guys follow us, we, um, we they come in three different sizes. This is the 16-ounce, that's the 8-ounce, and the 4-ounce candle. And Molly and Clay own Molly's Forget Me Not, which is our shop in Lehigh. So if you guys have followed us for any length of time, you've probably seen my live videos on Facebook. And Clay hand pours every single one of these custom scents himself. The jars they've upgraded, I don't know, you probably can't tell, but they say Mason. They've got the cute brown lids on them. And then right now we have the fall and winter scents on our website. They are live. This is brand new. Nobody else knows they're there except for you guys because we put them on Caitlin literally put these on the website like half an hour ago maybe <laughs> <laughs> just in time and the scents that I have tried out and absolutely love are winter wonderland now we're gonna have a game <laughs> Zeb gets to describe what they smell like ready winter wonderland first one up okay so that one actually does smell a lot like um, it's not like uh, it's not like pine salt, but it's got like that hint of pine smell to it, but it's also almost like a creamy, sweet smell too combined. It's good. Your candle explaining scents are strong. All right, scent one. All of the scents come in all of the sizes. We carry three sizes. Oh, is that's this the same scent. Same sweet. scent? Same scent. We're gonna go to the next one. This one is, this one's Christmas cookie. This is the one and we've been obviously burning. Obviously we've been liking this one because it's like completely It's gone. all gone. <laughs> It's in the old uh, jar. Yeah. So the Christmas cookie, let's say you want it. It, uh, it almost smells like a sugar cookie, but then it's got like a, like a little cinnamony to it. Yeah, like a little... Um, not gingerbread, not quite gingerbread. But like if you, like a, almost like a snickerdoodle maybe? Is that what they, when they put the cinnamon sugar on them? I don't know, it's, it's good. It's we like the sweet smells if you can't tell. Can you tell, tell me like food scents? Because we have a few coming up. This is the next one. This green one, I actually have been burning in our room. It's called Apple Jack and Peel, and it actually um, smells a little bit like sour apples. Yeah. Like an apple pie baking. That's why I love it. And not the cinnamon part of the apple, but like the actual apple itself, like a Granny Smith. Yep. So that's you did a Apple good job Jack on that and Peel. One. Sorry, you can tell I really like it because I described it. Okay, this is pomegranate cider. 
but it's not what it smells like. So the pomegranate is kind of subtle. The cider is stronger, but when we burn this, you can smell the pomegranate in it more. Yeah, that's true. And it's like almost kind of florally. Yeah. And I love this because it's floral, which you know I love floral, but it's also holiday scented. All right, next one is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. It's like three things in one. I should probably just eat this one here. You know, like those- uh, <laughs> Don't eat them! You know, you know, like those, uh, what is it, the sweet potato with like the marshmallows on top? Sweet potato casserole? Yeah, whatever. I don't know if casserole is the right word. We're more like a pie. Well, when I make it, it's like a pie. Because I, when I make my sweet, how do you make your sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving? It's coming up. We can talk about food. When I make my sweet potatoes, I take fresh sweet potatoes and I cook them, I peel them, I mix them with heavy cream, pumpkin pie seasoning, brown sugar, and then I put toasted pecans and nuts over the top of the marshmallows and bake at 350. And it is, like my kids will eat it till it's all gone. It's not for the lighthearted. You need a nap afterwards. It's not for the light anything. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're super excited about these stencils. If you have not done your Christmas shopping and you're looking for something, maybe somebody that loves Jamie Ray Vintage that wants something from Molly's, this is definitely a good choice for that. And it also helps support Molly and Clay they're an awesome husband and wife team just making things go and we they do a them. lot of the same things we do and we have some really fun things these are our we're carrying just the fall and the christmas but come the new year we're going to be involved in coming up with some really fun design candles so we're excited about that and we love them all right so how is this coming out here so that needs a few more minutes what to, we, to be really paint? well in here you were going to paint something weren't you or was okay. it that that you yeah, were going to paint what I, that's what i was going to paint oh i see Maybe you should paint um, some should fruit. Try a new, what? You should paint some fruit. I don't want to paint fruit. Do we have any wood outside? Here, why don't, you put, why don't you put one of those stencils on the back side of this and they can get bonus thing and then sign wreath. That's weird. I don't want to do that. I'll go get you some wood. Give me just a second. Give me some wood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. All right, guys. Oh, you know what? We didn't show them the buffet. Oh, thanks, Caitlin, for grabbing that one. <laughs> Oh, you guys want to see the buffet I picked? Hang on, let me get you your piece of okay. wood. Tell He's going to give me a buffet. piece of wood. I'm going to get some real stain on it, and then I'm going to show you the buffet. I picked up this buffet. He wanted $220. I asked him if he would go down in price, and he came down to $170. And depending on where you live, you may think that's expensive, but here this buffet will sell for $595. So $170 is a really good um, profit margin for me it leaves room that if for some reason it doesn't sell I can reduce it and still make a good profit and it's gonna look beautiful in my space and buffets are like the unicorns of furniture here I can never get them <laughs> and when you find them somebody else has already purchased them I can hear the saw so he's cutting me wood to make a sign right now I'm gonna grab the real stain number two if you ever buy our real stain from our website you have to keep it in the fridge which is where mine's at so give me just a minute Wait a second. Oh, and somebody was commenting. Those are actually not Oreos. They're Trader Joe's JoJo's and they're peppermint, um, kind of peppermint Oreos, but they're made by Trader Joe's. But they also have these little star cookies and that's what's in the jar over here. And they're mint shortbread star cookies and they're really good. All right, just a second. All right, real stain number two. You always want to shake up your real stain because the pigment settles to the bottom. Real stain will dry in 15 minutes and it's all natural, which I like. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Woo! Dinah says those are the bomb. Caitlin likes them too. I bought, she lives right by Trader Joe's and I left her a box. I'll show them to you because these are just cute. Look, are these not the cutest little cookies? You can see them. Anyways, Trader Joe's did not pay me to tell you how good these are. It up. Your poor voice is not <clears throat> Sorry guys, I gotta get a drink. <laughs> All right, so one of the things that I learned from the IOD sisters is that shop rags are amazing. So I'm going to use a shop rag to stain this. What are they called shop towels? Shop towels. Looking for them. Sorry, shop towels, the blue shop towels from the hardware store. Mm -hmm. Do you want to monitor comments? Yep, I'll look at comments for a minute. Oh, okay. hold on. I don't want to get my- Oh, people are weighing in on the sweet potatoes. I, Zeb and I can't decide because we're so busy and I'm so tired if I'm going to make Thanksgiving dinner or if we're going to go out because it's just going to be us 
And I just can't see spending $300 on one meal for just our family when we could go eat out. Yeah, by the time you get all the Thanksgiving stuff done and you get a bird and sometimes you need a ham and all this other stuff, we yeah. will never eat all that food. And it's Zeb's birthday week that week. His birthday's on the 20th, in case you didn't know. And so we're going to be doing fun stuff and I don't want to stress out about the meal. So we're either going to eat out at a Brazilian steakhouse or... <laughs> If I do make it, it'll be like super simple, not tons and tons of homemade, lots of pre-made stuff so I don't have to stress out. I actually can make a pretty darn good Thanksgiving all the way from scratch. I used to be a 100% scratch bake made baker. I can't even talk, scratch made cook. But I don't do that as much anymore because I'm busy crafting. All right, <laughs> real stain number two is drying. Let's show them the buffet. She's not messing with you. She makes delicious food. <laughs> Yeah, I, we, we I'm almost started a cooking with Jamie Ray. Yeah, we have channel. a cooking with Jamie Ray channel that only has one video, but it is pretty funny. So if you haven't looked up cooking with Jamie Ray, you can learn how to make biscuits and gravy on that channel because that's the only video. All right, we're gonna take a flight. You're gonna see our not so super clean house. Maybe not. Steph's doing good. Okay. They'll see it in the mirror. Yeah. I can't see. What can they see? Okay. So here's the buffet. Show them the mirror first. All right, so. So the mirror actually has a bunch of, sorry, we have reflections from our lighting that we use. It has a bunch of pock marks on it, and that's actually indicative of the age, and that's, to me, a good thing. I never want to replace that. I want to leave that because it's the original mirror. And it's got this fun detail here. It's kind of lost because it's solid white. Here, hold on. I'll take this off. So if I were going to leave this white, I would probably distress it to bring that out, but I'm thinking... If I were to paint this like Sweetie Jane in milk paint and have the white chipping through, mm -hmm. that would be pretty. But just a lot of fun details on this piece. Yeah. And then down here, it, I'm not sure if this is original or not, but it's got this applique on here. Original hardware, it's got paint on it. So what you do when you get original hardware with paint is you take it and you stick it in your little crock pot with just water, soak it overnight and you're, it'll come clean. And I'm probably gonna soak these hinges I don't mind painted hinges, but they're really chunky and nasty because they were painted with latex, not chalk paint. So those are gonna come off. And then anywhere there's a drip, like there's a nasty drip here, I'll probably chisel it off and then sand it because I don't like drips in my paint job. And then Zeb, you wanna show them all the way down here? This mm -hmm. is my favorite part. So this connector beam, it's all, I call it gingerbread. All turned, beautiful, fun detail. And I love the curvy edge here that's on the bottom. That's really fun. It's just a really great piece. It's in good condition. It's got a little bit of putty work. It needs work. a little bit of repair and the brace underneath is actually, so I'm gonna have to reinforce that. I may end up taking the whole thing apart and re-gluing all those joints. And I wanna show them the dovetailing. So the dovetailing is handmade, like hand cut. So even though I'm not an expert on antiques, I would say that this is turn of the century, like early 1900s, cause it's not machined. So that kind of helps you figure out age. All right, so there's my buffet. I think our resin ornaments. We've been doing lots of things. If you guys are keeping up with this tonight, you're doing good. Um, you check on that. I'm going to check on this. You normally want to wait like 15 minutes for this to dry, but I don't. I'm lazy or busy or impatient. All right, so should I do the reindeer zeb or the farm trees? I like the trees. Well, you know what? Can I do nativity? Yeah, you do a nativity. That's That'll my be fun. Thing. I'm gonna do this nativity. All right, so this has been curing up, okay? Uh, how long did, did I do this? 10 minutes ago? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is still soft, but let me see if I can shade it so you can see it. The lights are bright. There we go. You can kind of see it there. But just a fun little ornament. Damn, those lights. Yeah. Sorry, guys. If we don't have the lights, then it looks real gloomy in here. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you film at night. Someday we'll have an actual, like, set. Maybe. You want me to show them what you're doing? Yeah, I'm just taping the stencil down. It won't It won't tape 100% because it's still a little wet. Do but. you need me to get you the stencil brush? Yeah, you know what? I was going to get... Can you find me the new Paint Pixie flat tops? They're really good. This is a smaller stencil, so I don't think I need the little C. Where are those? Are those in the office? Um, I don't think 
So I think Colin's up top. You take that and I'll look for that. I'll tape it. You tape it. <laughs> Okay, so this has only been on here like in the amount of time we showed the buffet and it's it's still a little cool like you can tell it's wet but it's dry enough if we stencil over it it'll be all right so that these new stencil brushes that can also be using for or used for like glazing and detail waxing are by paint pixie we just put them on the website they come in different sizes one cent so the size of a penny the size of this one is the 50 cent it's a little bigger 25 cents and a nickel. I'm thinking probably we don't need any bigger than the one cent because this is pretty small. Mm -hmm. Can you tell they're brand new? I haven't even. They're a lot like the French tip brushes we sell, except they're for being flat. tapered. They're completely flat on they're the flat. ends. They're flat. They're made for stenciling. And do you guys notice that we have a brand new drop cloth? Hello, Amazon. All right. Can you get me, Zeb, real quick, the Ikea sheet so I can pour out some paint so I can stencil? Yep. You guys are so patient with us tonight. Zeb and I, because I was shopping all day, which I wasn't planning on, didn't have as much time to prepare what we were going to do. Okay. And then I've got crinoline here. Oh, it's brand new. Crinoline I love when I don't want a stark white, when I want something creamy. Don't worry, these aren't her sewing scissors. What? People always ask us how to get the tabs off. Like this. Here you go. Watch your eyes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You should not, you should use a small flathead screwdriver. You should not use your scissors, but I use whatever's in my hand. It's multi-purpose here. All right. Can you guys see this like a creamy color? I actually don't think I've ever painted with it before, but it's popular. We sell a ton of it. All right. No, we painted with that before. What did we, we painted paint? a whole, um, we did like a whole uh, So I'm just offloading the paint and you actually should pour it out and not dip directly in there because you can contaminate the whole court, but just offloading, making sure it's even. If Les Meyer's watching, she will be happy that I offloaded. So I'm just gonna come through and just pounce. You don't wanna brush. If you've seen a stencil before, this is not gonna be new to you, but you don't wanna brush it because if you brush it, you'll get it under the edges. And less is more. If you put too much paint, it's going to get under the edges and you're not going to have as crisp of an image. Zeb's actually much better at stenciling live than I am, but I got to do things I'm not good at every now and then. Ironically, we had this sign that we did live. I don't know if you guys saw us. We painted a painting and then we stenciled over it. And the, it was not our best work, but I distressed it to make it look a little better. And it just sold this week, so... Once we distressed it, it really made it look better. So on the note of using scissors to open the paint, Jamie W says she used a nickel to open her paint the other day. You got, <laughs> girl, sometimes you gotta get resourceful, like whatever you have. The thing I like about this is if I was using the big stencil brush, I would be wasting a ton of paint, like painting areas I don't need to paint. And if you're gonna be doing a stencil and you're going to be doing one part one color and one part another color, it's nice to have a smaller stencil brush so you can get that the details all different colors. So Sally asked an important question. She asked how many of these ornaments front and back can you get out of a box of resin? So I would say you could probably get like close to 20 ornaments. I would say 15 on the conservative side, 20 if you're uh, And they're good size. If you're not over pouring. Yeah, they're as big as my hand here. I'm going to come back in a second. Like back. my whole palm. And they, they're front and back, so that's fun. And you can paint, are you gonna paint that? Yeah, I'll paint it in a minute. Okay, here, here is your brush. He's gonna paint it in crinoline. I'm gonna, you guys, he's just brushing. We'll show it to you what it looks uh, like. I'll, I'll put it right over here in the little corner okay. of the camera. He's using, and I'm having him use the French round because it'll get in all those details really well. And we're gonna use crinoline on that too because I thought that that would be pretty. And I need you to blow on it really fast because I want to show them what a color wash looks like. Right. <laughs> so we're asking a lot of one live video. Okay, I think this is good. I'm going to peel this off and show you. Oh, so cute. Look how precious that is. Ta-da! And that was, you see how fast that was? Because this is a water-based stain, you don't have to let it dry overnight. 
You could also, if you're not, this is nice because you get the gray brown tones that you don't get with just using like a color wash. But if you wanted to, you could also, also take our layered chocolate from DIY paint, water that down and kind of make a faux stain. But this is nice because you get the gray and white tones and it really looks like barn wood. And also one of the things I like to do is lightly distress the crinoline and it kind of powders and then that pigment makes the stain look a little bit washed out and it's a really pretty effect. So, ta-da! All right, what are they saying? Do people like that? Yep, they're loving it here. Back to you. And then stencil care. So I'm gonna take this tape off of here. If I was doing lots of stencils, I would just keep reusing this tape over and over again. I try not to waste supplies. And you probably don't need to tape all around the edges. I just find I'm a hot mess, so this keeps me a little bit neater. And then if you're using the DIY paint, just it comes to soak it in warm water. If you're using an acrylic based paint or a mineral type paint, you may have to scrub it a little bit more, but and be sure to wash it right away. The DIY paint's pretty forgiving. We forgot it on our stencils overnight, soaked them the next day and it came right off. All right, you're gonna show them your chair, all mm -hmm. painted. So it's still a little shiny. I'm gonna uh, shade it, wait for it. Let me find the shade. <laughs> they can see it. There we go. I love it, that cream color, because it's warm. And we're doing lots of white on our tree, so I want to do shades of white, not all the same. All right, I'm going to open this up. Okay, what are you wanting to do with this wash? So I have taken one part of Gunmetal by Fairy Chalk Mother to like two to three parts of water and made a color wash, because that's what the IOD sisters did. They made a color wash. And it's kind of like glazing, but it's not harsh like a glaze. It's a little bit softer. And then I'm going to take a shop towel and buff it off. So Tammy Nagurski, there is not a hole to add the string. What this is, is this is a front and a back. And while one side was still wet, hadn't cured all the way with resin, we put them together with the string in between. So literally the plastic set up around the string. That's gonna give you a bond like nothing else. So the resin, which is essentially plastic, one side was still wet and we sandwiched them together and it cured. The chemical reaction cured to the string and that's not going anywhere you could also take and pour both sides use wood glue clamp them together but this is a much neater application kathy bornhoff Here. asks do you think kids could do the stencils i want to use them oh, at the yeah. library absolutely yeah. and the cool thing about our paints, I mean, you could pretty much use any paint, but our paints, I mean, we paint with our four-year-old all the time, and it's it's great. He's Because they're all natural. There's no VOC. If it gets on them, you don't have to worry about it. Um, also, if you guys are new to their channel and you don't know, we also do carry a few stencils on our website. One is a buffalo check, like my pants. And the other one, we have a big farm truck, which is super popular in farmhouse right now. So definitely check those out. It's got a Christmas haven't. tree in the back of it. But these stencil sets, the ones that we're giving away, are from Essential Stencil. And you can get them on their website. Just use code Jamie Ray Vintage. And I know so many people that watch our channel that use them. And they make tons of video, like tons, tons of videos. Oh, I'm tired. They make tons of signs after watching our videos. And they get ready for craft fairs. If you don't do craft fairs or have a booth, they're also really good for neighbor gifts or friends and family gifts. They're really an inexpensive way. You know, you just buy some lumber, a couple basic supplies, and it doesn't take much stain and paint. Well, and if you're afraid of cutting out your own wood, the Home Depot will yeah. make like 10 cuts for free for you. So, and if you didn't want to, we frame ours out, but if you didn't want to frame it out, you could just stain the edges. And just like this is super darling. And let me show you something funny. The wood he grabbed was a test piece. It's glittered on the back. <laughs> well, we were trying to figure out how to do our centerpiece. We tested it out, and this is the piece. Well, I'll probably sand the glitter off and totally frame this out and sell it at the shop because it's cute. All right, that's mostly dry. Okay. Mostly. Mostly. So, do you want me to bring them in close so they yeah, can see? Yeah, so ideally, you would let this dry a couple of hours because it may wipe off some of the crinoline that's on there. But for our purposes, I know you love us, but you don't want to hang out two hours. I'm going to go ahead and just do it. So we've got our wash here. Like I said, this is um, Fairy Chalk Mother Gunmetal, which I like because it's not harsh like a black. It's a little softer. It's about two to three parts water to one part paint. And I'm just gonna wash this over the top. 
You can see it's running. That's how wet this wash is. You guys see that? I'm not good at like. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the shop rag. I'm just gonna wipe back some of the detail. And it gives it like an old stone effect. Sorry, I gotta look at it for a second. Let me. And now they put gold gilding, but I think this would be precious with some golden ticket on there, which we do happen to have in stock right now, but we don't have time to use. But there you go. I think that on my tree, my ornaments are all going to be done just like this, because this to me is very like classic Christmas angel, but very farmhouse, especially with this hemp cord. Comment if you like our ornament. All right, guys, that was a lot. So. I'm gonna give you a little recap. Hang on before you do that. Hey Les, what's up? Hey Les, <laughs> she's, Les is she's up. She's big commenting. <laughs> I offloaded my brush in case you missed it. Little recap, if you comment, you are automatically entered to win one of the stencils that we showed earlier. Don't forget to share it and thumbs share up. Share and thumbs up. And we will ship worldwide. We'll announce it next Saturday in our live video. Check out all the candles, brand new on the website tonight. Go to Essential Stencil. If you can't wait to see if you win, definitely pick some up. Use code Jamie Ray Vintage to save 10%. All one word, Jamie Ray Vintage. Mush it together. This mold is the Cherub mold, and we used the amazing casting resin. And the paint that we used was crinoline and then the gunmetal. And you can pick that all up at jamierayvintage.com. And then, oh, we also used the real stain number two. I think that's it's it. a good thing my thrift store haul was small. We've been busy tonight. Oh, we have. You know, I I have so many things I think of all week because I'm always excited about Saturday nights, and then I think that they're not going to take a long time, <laughs> and then kind of they do. Well, and here we are, 50 minutes later. All right, guys, we love you. We will have. Um, we only have four videos this week, including our two lives. But next week, we will get our. We'll be back to five videos. Zeb's going to rest up. Get I'm him going some to bed right now. Humidifier, some <laughs> essential oils. Um, and yeah, share this video and comment and we'll announce the winners next Saturday. And Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. Yeah. Oh, you also have to be subscribed to win. I don't know if I mentioned that. Well, you can't comment without subscribing. So I guess that's no, a good point. No, they just have to have an account. Oh, okay. All right. Love you guys. See you later.